high. So forward and backward. Hi everyone, let's do Taekwondo, Black Mountain Martial Arts Method Joe. Today, we are going to talk about Taekwondo footwork. When you guys think of Taekwondo stance, what, what comes to you guys the first? First, they have you know, really wide stance, right? And then bend their knee, and then they are moving really quick and very dynamic and active, right? Okay, so first of all, we are going to have our feet one foot wider than your shoulder. So don't have your feet too uh, narrow, or your bend is going to be a little bit one foot wider than your shoulder width. And then you are going to do bend your, uh, bend your knee, and then your face always to, uh, facing towards your opponent. And then you're going to put your hands up, right? And then from here, what we're going to do, you're going to do just uh, practice hop in place. So mostly we are going to bend our knee and like a spring, like a squatting, like bend your knee and up and down. So if you are only making a bounce, making hops using your ankle, then you might see like this, your upper body getting really stiff. You are going to use your knee. Then it's going to be like a squatting, right? And then it's not done yet. And then of course we're going to use our hip, uh, hip joint as well, like this. Down and up, down and up. And then as you comes up, then your heel should be off the floor. So you might see like this, one, two, one, two, like you're doing jump ropping, jump ropping, jump ropping, jump ropping, yeah. And then when you do this, what we're gonna do, try to, you know, shift your weight on your front foot and back foot. And then try to, you know, shift your weight on your front foot and back foot. Front foot, back foot, like this. Can you guys see my body like swaying, uh, swaying like forward and backward, forward and backward? But I, my feet are not off the, uh, the spot. I'm doing, I'm, I'm standing, uh, I'm bouncing on the same spot, but I'm shifting weight my arm front foot and back foot, like this. All right. Now, we're going to practice sliding forward and backward, right? It's going to be very simple, but if you are not thinking about, you know, how to execute this sliding motion, then you might not be able to use it efficiently in the sparring. Uh, let's you know, talk about how we're gonna slide forward and backward. So first, how we can move. Your back foot is going to be the main leg. So what I mean by this, you are going to shift your weight a little bit on your back foot. Now I'm, I'm exaggerating uh, to help you guys understand. Feel a weight on your back foot a little bit, then you are going to lift your front foot up slightly off the floor. Then as you front foot off the floor, to push off the floor with your back foot. And then what might happen? Your, your body can move forward. Let, let, let me show you one more time. From here, now slightly weight on your back foot. Then as you feel your back foot is getting heavier, your front foot comes up off the floor. Then this is going to be when I start driving my body forward by pushing off the back foot. Boom, like this, all right? So in order to go backward, you are going to wait on your front foot, and now I feel like my front leg is getting heavier. Now what my ha what's gonna do? You are going to lift your back foot up. Then, as you lift your back foot up, oh, I, I'm feeling heavier on my front leg. Then I'm going to drive my body by uh, backward by pushing off the floor with my, uh, my front foot, all right? So, does it make sense, everybody? So let me show you guys uh, everything like in one motion. One, and two, one, two. Okay. Everybody, so the first, the mistake, that, uh, common mistake that people make after they move forward, after they're sliding forward, their feet getting narrow, getting more narrow. No, it shouldn't be happen. So maintain the same, uh, relative, uh, relatively the same distance between their feet. So from here, after you slide forward, try to keep the same distance in between your feet. One, two, one. Do you guys see that? All right, and then the next one is that, now, your knees is, is very, uh, your knee is going to be key. Look at my arm, look at my arm. If your arm is completely extended like this, then of course you cannot do punching, right? You cannot do punch. In order to punch, your elbow has to be bent so that you can do punching, am I right? Okay, and then same thing, 
If, if you want to kick after you slide forward and backward, then your knee has to be bent. If you want to move forward and backward, your knee has to be bent. Otherwise, you're going to just do hop like this. You need to use your bent, uh, knees. So forward and backward, forward and backward. Does it make sense, everybody? Yeah, so that is a very, uh, very common, the taekwondo footwork sliding forward and backward. And then we just talked a little bit about, you know, what you guys need to be aware of, which the keeping the same distance between your feet or when you slide it forward and backward. And the second one is that you need to keep your knees bent. All right, if that helps, uh, if that helps you guys understand the take on the footwork, then I want you guys to try it right now, right? So I will hope you guys will train safe and have a good day. Bye-bye.